Question number seven from Mechanics 1, June 2016. The GCE paper, not the International A-Level, the GCE paper from Edexcel. We have here a question about two forces acting on a particle P. It says the forces are F1 and F2. And it tells us that um, F1 is equal to minus I plus 2J. So F1 is equal to minus I, so it's minus 1 and 2J, minus 1, 2. I'll write them as common vectors. I find that much easier to deal with. And F2 it acts in the direction of I plus J. So F2 is not equal to I plus J, but it's equal to some constant times I plus J. So let's say it's equal to A times I whoops, I is 1, 1I one and 1J, one so 1, 1. A times 1, 1. 1, 1. That's I plus J, okay, as a common vector. Um, given that the result on F1 and F2 acts in the direction of the vector I plus 3J, okay, so the resultant vector of F1 and F2 is some constant, let's say B, of 1 and 3. Okay, our objective here is to find F2. So if you find the value of this A, we're going to find F2. Now, as we know, the resultant force is the sum of the two forces that make up the resultant. So F1 plus F2 will be FR. So we can say that minus 1, 2 plus A times 1, 1 is equal to B times 1, 3. Okay, from this we can derive two equations. We can derive the equation minus 1 plus A equals B. And we can have the equation 2 plus A equals 3B. Now what we can do is we want to find what A is because we want to find F2. We're not asked to find FR in this particular part of the question. Let's see if we're asked to find it in the second part of the question. There, yeah, another force. Okay, let's see. But anyway, let's just answer the first part of the question first. So what I want to do is I'm going to make um, the B's the same, so I can eliminate the B's so I can find what A is. So I'm going to multiply this by 3, which will give me minus 3 plus 3A equals 3B. Now the B's are the same. And if I subtract these two equations, if I take these two equations now and subtract them, Okay, I'll have, let's subtract this way. I have minus 5 equals, sorry, minus 5 plus 2a equals 0. Plus 2a equals 0. So 2a is equal to 5. So that means a is equal to 5 over 2. a is equal to 5 over 2. Okay, so we can say therefore F2 is equal to 5 over 2 I plus 5 over 2 J. Okay, you could write them as 2.5 I guess as well. So there we have the answer to part A. Excuse my bad writing. Right, then it says part B, it says the acceleration of P is 3i plus 9j meters per second squared. At time equals zero, the velocity of P is 3i minus 22j meters per second. Find the speed of P when t equals 3 seconds. So what we have is the initial speed. Okay, we have the initial speed of P, which is 3 and minus 22. We have the acceleration which is 3 and 9. Uh, we have the time, which is 3 seconds, and we've got to find the final speed. So we could use V equals U plus AT. This is constant acceleration. So we can find V. V will be the velocity, not the speed, but we can find the velocity first, which is going to be 3 and minus 22 time plus the time, which is 3 times So you have plus the time, which is 3, times acceleration, which is 3, 9. OK, 
Okay, that will give us the velocity, final velocity of this object, which is 3 plus 9, which is 12. And this is minus 22 plus 27, which is 5. Okay, so the speed is the magnitude of the velocity, which of course is going to be 13. 5, 12, 13, triangle. 5 squared plus 12 squared, square root it gives us 13 meters per second. And there's the answer to part B. Okay.